Welcome. In today's video, I would like to talk to you about a unique type of steam engine called a Camelback. What is a Camelback and what makes it so different? First, let's dive into the reason it's called a Camelback. Most steam engines were classified by their wheel arrangement, and by this I mean a steam engine would be designated by the layout of its wheels. A standard was established to list first the pilot wheels, which were added to steer the engine and guide the round turns. Next came the drive wheels, which is what gives the engine the ability to move and pull its consist. And finally comes the trailing truck, or that which supports the firebox, the place where the fuel is spent in the process of generating energy for the drive wheels. In the early days of steam, we had a planet class, which was a 2 2 zero wheel arrangement. Then came the American, which was a 4 4 0. As the need for more power, thus came the need for larger wheel arrangements. The Mountain, or the Mohawk, was a 4 8 two-wheel arrangement. The Camelback is named for its unique placement of the engineer or cab location, which is astride the boiler. And the reason for this is the fireboxes were so wide that they would have restricted the engineer's ability to see. Camelbacks came in many wheel arrangements, but were not classified by that, but all grouped together by their unique look. By the 1920s, many Camelbacks in the 460 wheel arrangement were being used in daily passenger service and were a staple of the Long Island Railroad. Safety concerns caused by the separation of the fireman and engineer, limiting their ability to communicate, along with sitting above the side rods of the locomotive, vulnerable to swinging and flying metal if anything below should break, cause their demise. Today I have two examples of these engines to show you. First is engine number 18, produced by Lionel in the traditional black. And next is a rare number 19, a custom run limited to only 75 engines for the NASA Lionel operating engineers by Lionel with premium details including Russian iron paint scheme on the boiler and jacket along with gold pinstriping on the engine wheels. Well enough of me talking. Let's see these running on my layout. Once again I thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch my videos. If you like what you see please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and tell others. Until the next time, stay safe. Dispatcher, air is made. Brake test complete. Are we clear to pull? Over. Hold your position. Out.
Dispatcher, go to the register room to sign out. 